Okay, it's Friday. Yes, uh, crazy week, you know, with Bordeaux Futures. But, you know, I have a, I have new life today because today we are featuring one of my favorite wines in the right bank. And it's not just because of the friendship I have with the Bico family, but it's because they're making great wine right now. And, um, you know, over the years, uh, we, I've been going to visit them and staying at their residence for ever since like 2020, maybe 03 vintage. And, and it's, it's just amazing how their, their family is, and we became very close. And uh, in 2009, they were my sponsor for the Le Girard de saint I so I am now a member of this prestigious group of individuals. But, uh, um, but not only that, the, the, the deal is, is that they're very, you know, they're very friendly people. They took me into their home. Um, you know, we've had many dinners together and we would talk about wine and talk about the future of wine and in the, the market and et cetera, et cetera. But <clears throat> in 2014, uh, Juliette Bacot's father um, decided to retire. And, uh, and her and her husband, Julian Bart, took over the property. And it was very interesting because it was a, a, a transitional phase for them. And then I remember I was there in 2017 uh, for the 16th Vintage and they changed analogists and they used to work with Jean-Philippe Fort from Michel Verlaine's um, analogy department. Uh, who's, again, he, he's a great analogist as well, so I'm not taking anything away from him, and decided to go with Thomas de Clos. And the one thing that Juliet told me is that, and I asked her, I said, well, what was your decision to, to go with Thomas? And she said, you know, the thing is, Tristan, you, you know our terroir here, because you've been here so many times. We are on the top of the plateau, we are surrounded by Beauchardier de Faux, uh, Clos Forte, uh, cannon. So you know the type of, of, of terroir we have here and we just felt that our wine like a beautiful girl and had too much makeup. Lose the makeup, okay? Because you're beautiful so you don't need like the full lipstick and nice you know. And that was her analogy of the wine and it made a lot of sense to me because when you have all these great elements of terroir you don't need to mask it with oak or extraction or all these other things that people do you know people talk about putting the ingredients on the back of a wine uh, in the future i think it's a great thing because you don't know how much ingredients go into a lot of the napa valley cabernets and make purples and all these other kind of things too this is not the case here especially when you're farming organically and you're doing everything you know pretty much up to snuff and you want the wine to taste it's purest from its where it comes from. It, it that 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 terroir aspect of of great wines and and you know the deal is is that they 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 figured it out you know because when I tasted the wines you know going back to like I think the 18 vintage was the first wine that I really tasted the difference in the change at at Beaujolais de Bricot. and. And progressively, it just, it got better and better and better each year. And so I think the 20 is kind of the pinnacle so far of wines that are actually in the bottle of Beauchers de Bricot. I mean, we're talking 97, you know, uh, Venice, 97 uh, Wine Cellar Insider, uh, 97 James Suckling. So you, you see what's happening here with this wine, I mean, now they're starting to get into that hierarchy, but the price is not yet in that hierarchy level. And if you're listening, Juliet and Juliet, don't change, okay? <laughs> don't change, you keep it in this level, okay? Uh, because this is where the public actually buys and drinks the wine. And, and I understand, you know, a lot of people, when you're looking at the neighbors, you know, like the, the you know, the, the cannons, you know, getting uh, in the three figures, you know, hundreds of dollars and, and Defoe's in a hundred dollars and you go down to Angelus, which 
Quite honestly, the, probably the terroir isn't as good there. Hopefully Stephanie isn't watching. Um, but the wine's great, nevertheless. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's really refreshing to see. And so, um, so the, the 2020, I think, has reached a pinnacle. So far, 22 is pretty damn delicious. Uh, I taste the 23, that too. Uh, but the 2020, uh, it's a blend of 85% Merlot, 13% Cabernet Franc, and 2% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, they backed off on the oak, they picked it a little bit earlier, and what you get is that beautiful limestone plateau. Just so much going on on the nose. It's almost Burgundian. They, they backed off so much, they made it really Elliott. I mean, for 2020, which I think is a vintage that doesn't show as well as 19. Man, is this like got a lot of stuff going on. And we just opened this too. So this, put this in a decanter, man. The boys in, you know, when we close the store tonight are gonna have a, a, a fun drink. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Again, under $70, loved by the press, all the press. You'll see it in the write-up. I mean, just like 95, 95, 96, 90, you know, just. And I think what they're doing is, uh, is they're, 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 they're doing the right thing. I think the young generation in, in Saint Emilion is, 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 taken these wines to the next level. This, and again, the, the wines that I mentioned, Canon and all that stuff, and even like uh, Pavi and, 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 and Beauch you know, uh, Belfond Belsier and, and all these other wines, they're, it, it's really exciting times in, in, in the right bank. So you know what to do. I mean, this, we don't have a, a ton of it. All I can say is happy Memorial Day. Like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know, because again, I mean, we, we, we send these things out before the offers go out. So if some of these wines are rare and they sell out very quick. So again, leave a comment, tell us what you like, what you don't like, and uh, we'll be sure to answer that. So ser seriously, we want, we want to interact more about wine and because and, and, we love what we do. So have a great weekend.